Thank you for choosing the Viteris 320 for your wellness journey. In this quick and easy installation guide, we'll show you how to set up your Viteris 320 so that you can start to enjoy the benefits of hyperbaric sessions comfortably in the location of your choice. When you receive your system, there will be four boxes. One containing the bolsters, another with the rounds, straights, and the mattress, the third holding the main chamber and accessories, and the fourth containing the compressor. First start by opening up your boxes and identifying the contents. Start by removing the two bolster sets from the box. Remove them from the box and set them aside for now. Open the box with the rounds, the straights, and the mattress. Carefully remove the modular frame straights and set them aside. Then, remove the plastic film mattress and set it aside. Finally, take out the two large head and foot rounds. Unwrap the mattress, unrolling the plastic film from the mattress. Lay the mattress flat and set aside so that it may regain its full shape. Open the compressor box. When you open the box, there will be a top piece of foam that has the power cord. Take off the top foam housing and set it aside for now. Set the compressor aside for now. Next, open the chamber box. Remove the carry bag with the enclosed chamber from the chamber box. Set it aside for now. Also, remove the accessory box. Open the accessory box. Inside, you will find the muffler in its pouch, the mattress sheet in its pouch, the air hose, and the printed chamber manual. Set these aside for now. Assembling the bolsters. Retrieve one bolster at a time and align the two halves so that they form one long piece. Tuck it into its respective cover. Then, begin to pull the cover over the bolster, securing it into place with the Velcro closure strip along the edge of the cover. Pay special attention that the Velcro is smooth and flat. First assemble one bolster, then the next. Next, lay them flat and pull straight the straps that are attached to one of the bolsters. The Velcro side should face up. Grab the other assembled bolster and find the Velcro patches underneath. Secure the ends of the Velcro straps onto the matching patches on the other bolster. Try to attach the strap to the ends so as to leave enough space in between to cradle the chamber. Once it is assembled, it should look like this, with the curved side up, the Velcro straps holding the bolsters in place and ready to place the chamber. Next, grab the chamber carry bag. Unzip it and take out the folded chamber. Unroll the chamber, opening and unfolding it completely. Turn it right side up with the zipper and opening facing up. Continue to unfold and flatten as much as possible. The power cord, grab the box power cable that was provided. Take the compressor end of the cable and plug it into the slot at the back of the compressor. Then, take the other end of the power cord and plug it into an appropriate outlet directly. Be aware of other devices also using this outlet to avoid overload. You will be placing the chamber into the assembled bolster cradle. This may be done alone or with assistance, carefully setting it into place. Once that is completed, take the air supply hose. One end goes to the compressor connector and the other goes to the chamber connector at the head of the chamber. Simply snap on and push until you hear a click. Now begin to zip up the chamber, the interior zipper first. Use the nylon zipper pull that is between the gray gasket to zip it all the way to the end of the zipper track. Pay careful attention at the end to make sure it is fully closed. Use your index finger to push it all the way as needed. Next, begin closing the top zipper. Tuck the gray gasket flaps flat between the bottom and top zippers, tucking and zipping. Use the metal zipper pull to make sure it is closed all the way to the end. Close the inflation and deflation valve by turning it clockwise from the outside. Pay careful attention to not over tighten. Turn on the compressor. Watch the chamber inflate. This should take a few minutes. 
the chamber will reach pressure when the overflow valves begin to release air and is shown on the pressure gauge. Turn off the compressor. Turn the inflation and deflation valve counterclockwise to begin releasing air. Note that opening the valve will expose these air release holes as you turn. Do not over torque. Check to see that the chamber is sufficiently deflated by pressing on it and by checking the pressure gauge. Once the chamber is depressurized, you may begin opening the outside zipper. Then, reach between the gasket and open the second zipper using the nylon zipper pull. Open both zippers all the way to avoid zipper damage. Installing the frame structure, start with the head round frame with the up head sticker side up. With assistance or alone, insert the frame sideways into the open zipper area. Pay careful attention to the opening and the sides of the chamber. It will take some maneuvering. Once past the zippers, pivot the frame with the head up end toward the head of the chamber with the top window. Pay careful attention that the frame clears the valves. Next, climb into the chamber. From a seated position, begin to push and wiggle the head frame into position. Again, mind the pressure gauge. Use your feet and arms to continue to push them into place. Next, take the foot round frame with the up foot sticker side up. Place it sideways into the chamber opening, clearing the zippers. Once past the zippers, pivot the frame. The sticker side should be up and facing the end of the chamber. Once again, you will climb into the chamber to finish maneuvering it into place. Use your feet and arms to finish pushing it toward the end of the chamber. Next, take your modular straights and place them into the chamber with you. From inside, these pieces will be attached to the head and foot pieces. Put two pieces on one side and the other two on the other side to begin the process. Loosen the tightening screws just enough to allow them to be secured into place. Connect each lateral side to the ends of each of the head and foot rounds. Make sure that each piece is pushed fully into the connector and tighten the screw to secure into place. After they are connected to the two round frames, connect the middles of the frames to each other. Again, securely tighten the screws to hold them in place. To insert the mattress, fold it in half with the zippers facing out. Place the folded mattress sideways into the zipper opening of the chamber. Twist the mattress so that one end goes in the direction of the head, the other toward the foot. Smoothen out and flatten to adjust. In the accessory box, the muffler pieces were provided. Unscrew the bottom elbow from the main muffler piece. Go into the chamber and at the head of the chamber, you will see a port to connect the elbow of the muffler. Gently tighten the muffler into place. The connector should face down. Next, take the main muffler piece and gently screw it into the connector. Pay careful attention to not over tighten. Your chamber is now ready for use. Do familiarize yourself with its operation prior to the entry of any occupant. Practice the zipper closure and opening process, making sure both zippers are fully closed when pressurizing and fully open when depressurizing. Remember to close the pressure valve to begin inflation of the chamber and that your compressor is on prior to occupant use. Your pressure gauge will let you know when you've reached pressure. We hope that you enjoy your chamber and its ease of use.